Lauren and today I'm going to share my experience about giving blood. So I booked giving blood uh, six months ago and like everything it's just crept up and today I'm finally doing it tonight. Um, so I'm feeling a little bit, I feel fine at the moment but yesterday I was feeling quite, uh, you know, a bit up and down so I'd, I'd kind of go from excited to really nervous to just anxious about it. Um, and then I also made the mistake of uh, reading <laughs> people's stories. So um, there was one I come across with this girl said it was like the worst thing she'd ever done. So uh, that definitely didn't help. So if you're thinking about giving blood, uh, yeah, maybe don't go too crazy on reading everyone's stories um, because, you know, it's your own experience. And I think if you just prepare enough, um, which hopefully is what I can help give you a few tips on today, then you'll be fine. So I want to talk about food. So last night, uh, or yesterday, I was kind of researching into the best type of foods I need to be eating for uh, giving blood. So I'll see iron rich foods and foods that are rich in vitamin C because that helps the absorption of iron. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to be eating today. I nipped out last night and um, grabbed all the things that I've planned and then prepped them last night. So today I'm completely ready to go. Um, I'd also recommend kind of just getting any tasks or chores out the way, um, you know, just so you can come back and relax because, yeah, you're going to feel tired. Um, and, you know, this is my first time, so I'm going to keep you updated as much as I can. Uh, it's morning time now, so um, I'm giving blood at 7pm tonight. Uh, so, you know, if I was going to be in the morning, I'd probably just have a huge breakfast and then I'd be done. But because I kind of have to sustain myself for the whole day, um, I've kind of planned out what I'm going to be eating. So, breakfast. I haven't had breakfast yet. I'll be doing that after I've done this video. So I've got wheat bix um, Anyone, I mean, I'm sure everyone knows what wheat bix is. <laughs> um, it's just this kind of wheaty sort of uh, snack thing. Um, and what I do is I have two of these and I'm also going to heat up the milk in the microwave and then just kind of mush it all up, which sounds disgusting, but I really like it. And it's so cold, well, it feels so cold at the moment, um, so I just want a lot of warm stuff as much as I can. The other stuff isn't too warm, but um, this is probably the warmest thing I'll have all day, apart from tea. But um, yeah, so I'm going to have some Weetabix, and then I'm also going to have um, I've got some Kiwis. So we'll have some of them. I don't know if you can see it. Probably a bit blurry. Um, so I have some kiwis and also probably some strawberries. Uh, so that'll be breakfast. And then for lunch, this is going to look disgusting because it's been in the fridge all night. But this is my I make a, a kind of big pasta dish every single week, and um, it's basically just protein pasta, whole wheat protein pasta, um, with broccoli in a kind of tomato and herb sauce. I think it's a home pride sauce. Um, like I say, it's going to look horrible, but um, <laughs> uh, that is what it looks like. So it looks horrible because it's been in the fridge all night. So, um, But that's my lunch, so it's a good amount there. Um, but that's going to be kind of like midday, so I'm going to want a little snack, um, I think, before I come home. So what I've done is I've done like a little... This is also probably going to look too great. I just shoved it in this tiny little container. Um, and all it is, is spinach leaves with a little bit of chicken, some cut up uh, new potatoes and edam beans, I think they're the soya beans, so look like that. Um, so just those little green beans. Again, all the stuff in there is, uh, you know, very rich in iron, so, and I've also got a tiny little, I don't know if you can see it, a little pot of Caesar sauce, Caesar dressing. Um, so that's going to be my little kind of snack um, between, uh, you know, sort of mid-afternoon I think I'll eat this. And what I've also got, sorry, I'm going to do this up now. Jesus. <laughs> um, yeah, what I've also got is just a little pot of strawberries and blueberries. So that's going to be whilst I'm at work, so I can just snack on them throughout the day. And then I've also done another pot. So that's going to be uh, what I'm going to take there. I'm also going to get um, some apple juice because that's another 
rich in vitamin C drink. Uh, so I'm going to get some apple juice and I kept reading online white bread is good for, I don't know if there's any relation to iron. I mean, it's I always thought it was just crap, but um, I love white bread anyway, so I can just use that as an excuse to eat it. So I'll also get some of that. Um, so yeah, after I've had all of that, I'll come home, uh, maybe just have, maybe I'll have some bread um, and then if I'm feeling a bit hungry, maybe I'll have an egg. Um, so obviously if you're vegetarian then you know when it, when it comes to obviously most of this is veggie anyway when it comes to salad I've got a bit of chicken in there um I follow a vegetarian diet but I've also started eating chicken now so I suppose I'm not veggie anymore um if you are veggie then sweet potatoes you could put in there instead of the new potatoes um that's really rich in iron so that would be great uh, what about eggs as well? If you eat eggs, you could chuck some eggs in your salad or make a little omelette when you come back before you go. Um, you know, even omelette on toast or eggs, any eggs on toast uh, would be good good breakfast as well. Um, obviously, this is all stuff I've been reading online, so it's just iron rich foods you want. Um, also, clothes wise, I've already picked out what I'm going to wear. Uh, basically just really baggy clothes that you just want to be comfortable the baggier the better just feel really comfy um, and what I'm also doing is taking my hot water bottle to work because um, I want to stay warm all day I don't want to have any sort of you know I sit at a desk all day so I don't want to have any kind of you know restricted blood flow or anything I just want to be warm all day so I'm taking that to work I just want good blood flow today um, yeah, so like I say, it's morning time now, so I'll keep you updated uh, and share the experience of how it all goes tonight. So I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello again. So it's the morning after giving blood and the whole experience was really good actually. I think the main thing that helped is how much I was eating and drinking. Um, when I was actually giving blood, it I felt completely fine. I didn't feel lightheaded or weird. Um, Whilst you're giving blood, they recommend you do these little bum clenches. So whilst I was on the chair, I was just kept clenching my bum and moving my legs and then uh, squeezing your sort of hand, uh, the one, the arm that you're giving blood, you sort of clench your fist and then you just release it. So little things like that really help keep your blood pressure up and uh, avoid those, those sort of faint feelings. Um, there's quite a few times people get asking my weight because they said you might be a bit too small, but um, you have to be, I think, at least seven stone... 14 pounds or something so I think if you're as long as you're over eight you'll be fine I think I'm about eight six so um yeah so that was good that was the only thing that um made me think oh god maybe I'm gonna feel weird um but yeah you know I had loads of iron rich fruit food um I kept drinking tons of water they make you drink um 500 ml before and then they recommend you drink 500 ml after so the second I got off the chair it's like oh my god I need a wee um now the actual, um, you can see I haven't really even got much bruising, so that's how my arm looks next morning, so it's literally just the needle where it went in. It was, um, I have seen quite a few people and their, their arms are quite bruised up, I think that's, um, <clears throat> I think that's normal, but um, yeah, the whole experience was really good, everyone's really lovely, they make you feel really comfortable, you get free snacks afterwards. Um, it was actually really busy, the one I went to, um, which was really nice to see. So if you are thinking about it, maybe you're a bit worried, then I would just say go and do it anyway. As long as you make sure you eat and drink enough on the day, you'll feel fine. I know I did. Um, so I hope this video is helpful. And I'll leave a link below um, if you are thinking about giving blood. Um, obviously it'd be a UK one, so yeah. I'm not too sure in the USA where you'd go to give blood, but... <laughs> So I hope this video is helpful and I'll see you in the next one.